kind of let a light around me. It's all right. So welcome to today's free class on removing and releasing abundance blocks. So if you're new to the classes, my name is Tara. I'm a certified energy practitioner and um, a clarity coach. And what that actually means is I use a bunch of healing modalities and other modalities to really tune into your energy and to help you gain the clarity that you need in your uh, life and business. So some of the tools that I use are things like human design. We all are born with a human design. Hey, Tina. Hi. Um, as well as uh, human design, Akashic Records, Emotion Code, Energy Releasing. So this abundance block thing has been um, a really big, I'm going to say influence in my own life for the last little while. I've been doing a lot of work on releasing my own abundance blocks and really figuring out the triggers of what these abundance blocks are. So first and foremost, I just want to say that abundance is a lot more than just your money. Um, we think automatically that abundance is money. And trust me, money is really helpful when it comes to being abundant. However, you are also abundant in your relationships, the quality of your relationships, the quality of your life. Um, let's see, your health. So when we are looking to remove abundance blocks, we're really looking to remove um, anything that would be limiting us from living our best life. And money is needed to live our best life. Think of it as, um, for example, my word for 2020 is freedom. So I want to experience freedom in all areas of my life. And that means I need money to do that. So I have been clearing um, for quite some time on myself, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Oh, that's crappy. I put hot water in here. <laughs> Not cold water, but oh well. It's water. H2O. <laughs> so... <laughs> First and foremost, I would like you guys, we all need to be really grounded. As part of my work, what I do is I open a record or I open a channel, a container of energy for all of us. So anyone who signed up and is not on here, who is on here right now, or who may catch a replay by any means, shape or form, would be included within this energetic container. And so... In order for the energetic container to really, I'm going to say, reach maximum potency and effectiveness, you need to ground. If grounding is, I, I cannot stress it enough how important grounding is to really do it every single morning, every single time you're feeling scattered. Um, because here's quickly a couple of things. When you are not grounded, you cannot hear your intuition. You cannot hear your higher self. You are indecisive. You become stressed out. You become overwhelmed. Um, anxiety starts to play because you're too far into the future. That is when you're ungrounded. You cannot tie a sentence together. You walk into rooms, cannot remember why you're there. Those are all indications of not being grounded. The biggest point that I need to drill into you about being grounded is that if you want to become the most magnetic, incredible, magnetizing, manifesting human beings you possibly can, you need to be grounded. Because the saying, as is above, so is below, is completely true. Completely true. And your always actually getting information. You may not know how to recognize it yet. You may not know which clear of yours is working the hardest, right? I just have a deep knowing. People will be like, how do you know that? I don't know. I just know it. That is my, that is the way they talk to me. That is the way I am communicated with. I have friends that like go into these deep channels and hear all this stuff and all of these things. It's 
really how spirit, universe, God, whoever you believe in communicates to you. But the fact of the matter is they're always communicating with you. Numbers, if you see repetitive numbers, animals, if you see animals, I'm, for me, it's birds. Um, but if you're not grounded, you can't get the information. It's just like, and that's why people trust me. Now I can tell if someone is talking to me and they're not grounded, I'm like, oh, you're going to need to hold on and you're going to need to ground yourself because I don't understand what you're trying to say. So I would like you to take a deep breath, please. And this time I would like you to inhale for four seconds. Hold it for four. And exhale for four. We're going to do that again. And this time, as you inhale, you're going to ask yourself, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being super grounded, how grounded am I? And you're just going to let that number come to you. There is no right or wrong reason or answer. Now, when you have that number, if you could, please put it in the chat box. If you're on screen, you can hold up your fingers. I'm really like, care. I'm trying to find the chat. <laughs> I know. If you're on your phone, it's hard. So Sarah, oh, seven. Is. Liz, three. Woo. Patricia, nine. Awesome. All right. Tina, five. All right, guys. I got to work on All right. that. Here we go. <laughs> First, we're going to ground. <laughs> because I'm going to say it. If you're not, like, at a nine, mm, and this is the thing, I'm giving you this opportunity to learn how to ground. Um, there are many, many ways to ground. You can walk barefoot outside. I personally don't find that super beneficial. Um, it just doesn't work for me, but it works for a lot of other people walking in nature. The easiest way for me to feel grounded is to... We're going to do this now. You can either envision whichever way you want. And when I say envision, I mean use your imagination. We all have imaginations. We've all been playing by ourselves when we were kids. You can use your imagination. And that will look however it's meant to look for you. And there, again, no right or wrong with this. Sometimes I envision roots coming from up and going down. And other times I envision roots coming up and wrapping. Today... You're going to envision, if you don't have your feet planted on the floor and you want to, that's fine. But we're going to use our imagination. We're going to envision two huge roots coming up out of deep in the center of Mother Earth. And it's going to wrap around your toes. So just close your eyes and just let it take you. Let these roots wrap around your big toe. Wrap it around. And it starts wrapping around your foot. And it's just all of a sudden you're starting to feel, wow, there's a lot of flow happening. There's creativity happening. I'm feeling energized. I'm feeling like there's just this warmth to it. And it's wrapping. They're each wrapping around your feet and your ankles. And as they kind of come up and over, they actually start interweaving like, a, like an infinity symbol, like a number eight around your legs, back and forth, back and forth, all the way up. And as they hit your torso, they turn into one vine, one big luscious vine, and it starts to wrap around your torso. And it's comfortable, it's easy to move, and it comes up and up, and you can feel this energy, you can feel this vitality, you can feel this momentum within you. And it starts to go around your one shoulder and wrap to the next side, over your next shoulder, wrapping around back and forth, and it starts to create this anchor. And all of a sudden, this root starts to go back down into Mother Earth. And as it touches Mother Earth, it just catapults straight down into her core, wraps around, and gives you a great big tug. Now take a deep breath. And again, ask yourself on a scale of one to 10, how grounded are you?
put in the chat box. Awesome. Yes, Tina. <laughs> So, guys, I have a meditation that I recorded, and awesome, because this is the spirit of giving, it is now free for download on craigangmusic.com. So, I will send everyone an email when this is over, and if you haven't downloaded the holiday gift guide that I've got out, it actually is in there with the download code. I will send you guys... Um, the meditation and where you can go to download it. It takes you through this. I think it's five or six minutes long. You do the before and after, but I will tell you one thing. If you are finding yourself feeling disconnected from yourself, just do the breathing that I just taught you in for four, hold for four out or take a deep breath. It doesn't matter. And ask yourself, how grounded am I? Scale of one to 10, get that number and then work to get to your 10 or as close as a 10 as you can, okay? So now that we are grounded, we can actually work within the container of removing and releasing these blocks. Yay! So everybody is grounded. I am gonna set the intention that whatever needs to be released when it comes to abundance blocks will come forward, that the most, um, necessary is the word they're giving me necessary blocks come forward first and that this container that we're holding this space this clearing that we're doing is for all dimensions because we've got parallel realities working here right all of your lifetime all of your ancestral lineage including your parents here now because here's the thing when you do do your inner work when you do your energy work, when you actually work to heal, you do, in fact, change your family traumas, your ancestral traumas, your family lineage, your future kids, your kids that you got now. So we're going to actually set the intention that this is all within the container and that all of this clearing that we're doing is within the container. Now, I use a pendulum. So if you've... Um, you may have watched other people do clearing and block clearing and they may just channel it and just do whatever. And that's fine. I like to use a pendulum because when the pendulum clears exactly what it's doing right now, it goes in a certain direction. And then at the end it activates. So we're going to go and we're just going to list out whatever comes to me is what we're going to start clearing when it comes to abundance block. And then we're going to go through and we're going to activate. Now, if you think of something, put it in the chat box because, sorry, okay, because that is for all of us. Now, they actually want me to do something with you first. Um, they, I mean, like my guidance team. So we need to figure out what we're working with. What is your money container? your money <laughs> container. Okay. Now there is a difference between the money that you want for living. So just say you want to make, uh, I don't know, you want to make a hundred grand next year and the lifestyle you truly want to lead is actually 250 grand that you need for next year. But really subconsciously you can't get past 50,000. So what we're going to do is, and that's your money container. That is your, um, that is your abundance block. That is where your mind shuts off. And I've had this happen to me. So I, um, in the peak of my corporate career had a abundance block or my money container said that $200,000 was like filthy rich. And I could not make or accumulate over $200,000 in a year. Well, between my salary, my investments, and everything else, I was pretty close. And what started to happen? 
I started to self-sabotage because I was unaware that that was my money container. So what we're going to do is similarly, you're going to take a deep breath. Now I'm going to activate that all of you are going to get a nice number from your subconscious. You are going to say, what is my max abundance number? You can even say subconscious mind, tell me what my max abundance number is. Give me a thumbs up if you have the number. You don't have to write it in the chat box if you don't want to, but if you can write it down, write it down so you know. Now, yes or no, I want you to ask yourself, so does this mean if I were to hit that number, I'd have the jackpot? Like that would be it. This is it for me. I bet you some of those numbers are not what you expected. Right? That's you where I weren't. So, again, try and write it down because we're going to do this again after and see what changes happen. So, all right. All right. Someone sent me a private, a private number. So, <laughs> if you want to do that, you can go right ahead. All right. Here we go. We are going to start removing and releasing all abundance blocks. Now, blocks are caused by limiting beliefs, fears, scarcity mindset. Ah. And where do we learn these from? Society, our parents, ancestral lineage. So, They want to clear scarcity first because we all deal with scarcity. That is thinking there's not enough. Ooh, that made me feel sick. Thinking there's not enough. Feeling like if we have, then someone goes without. Think of all the times your parents told you to eat what was on your plate because there were starving kids in Africa. It's that. Tina, the nutritionist. Like <laughs> <laughs> so, scarcity mindset. They want scarcity. It's about making people scared and feeding your fear. That is the biggest one. Is thinking that if I have, they don't, or there's not enough to go around, which feeds competitiveness. Big block to abundance competitiveness. So we're removing all competitiveness. We're remo removing all feelings of unworthy, of low self-worth, low self-esteem, low confidence, mm. fear of rejection, fear of change, fear of growth, fear of success. Ooh, I got chills on that one. That was a big one. That hit hard. Fear of your own success. Blame. Blame from you, from others. They want to release family patterns. Family Fam how to say familial obligations, family guilt, that you should be doing something that doesn't actually bring you true happiness. You should be doing this. You should be doing that. Obligations, blocks to your abundance. Mm -hmm. Any and all thoughts about money doesn't grow on trees, work hard, play hard. Um, they want to remove any and all things around work. 
the description of work, the thought that you need to work. No, what they say is that you need to be a martyr at work and work a 60 hour work week. Otherwise you're not worthy. Remove that. Yes, Sarah, I was too. I was also told that I was not a whole person because I don't have a real job. So I get it. These are blocks to abundance that we are, mm, that are imposed upon us. So thank you for bringing that up because now they want to clear any imposed upon blocks. So imposed upon cords, energetic ties, energetic oaths, contracts, vows, any poverty vows that you may have taken in this lifetime or any other lifetime. Poverty vows. Does everybody know what poverty vows are? Those are actually vows that perhaps maybe in a past life you were a healer or you were whatever and you said, I vow that I'll never make money because that's BS to be honest with you. So any and all poverty vows. Um, any and all vows, oaths, and contracts to never have any possessions, be it in this lifetime or other lifetimes. We are carrying around energetic baggage from eons ago, and it's our opportunity now, as this whole planet is going through an ascension, and you're going through an ascension, and everyone is growing and learning, to let it go so that it does not come forward with us. Awesome. So any resistance, they want us to remove resistance to receiving money. So the resistance lies in where you had your original bucket. Might have been lower than you thought. You might have been like, I want to win $10 million. But then when you ask your subconscious, you figure out that actually your money bucket is limited at 150. So work up to 10 million. And you've just spent all this money on lottery tickets for I don't know how long because your money bucket is nowhere near that. So resistance, resistance to the energy of money, feeling like you can't handle money. You can't handle um, numbers. Oh, okay. They want me to, they, they want us to release, hmm, how to say it? Um, one, not starting what you're meant to be starting because your bank account doesn't match it. Two, worrying about your house. How is this gonna happen for you? Uh, we're releasing your current financial situation and being stuck in the story that you don't have any money, that you don't know how you're gonna pay your bills, that you don't have any money, that you're in this shitty current financial situation. They want to release that from all lifetimes, from all dimensions, from your entire ancestral history. <sighs> Sorry, they really want to take some time on that. Um, oh, I wrote some notes because they told me a whole bunch of things before. Feeling like you'll make a mistake, that blocks your abundance. Feeling like you could fail, blocks your abundance. We are removing that fear, which is just a fear. It's not truth. It's something you learned along the way and it's not truth. A mistake is just a redirect if you want. It's simply a new opportunity and experience. There are no mistakes. And that ties into, again, fear of rejection, fear of growth, fear of change. All the what ifs. They want you to release all the what ifs. What if my clients don't find me? What if I did, this doesn't work? What if? I lose my job. 
what if, all the what ifs. All the how am I going to pay for this? How am I going to do that? All of that. Now, let's release the I will do it when. So when I lose weight, this will happen. When I have a million dollars, I'll experience this. That is a humongous block to abundance. So I really want you to, if you can, actually feel like these things that I'm saying now are going through your body and out your feet. I'll do it when. I'll do it when. That's just leaving your body. No more. No more. I'll do it when. No more. When my bank account tells me I can do this, I'm going to start today. That's what it is. Thank you. Forgive yourself. They want you to release all of the things that you have not forgiven yourself for so that you can make room for your abundance. All the things you thought went wrong in your life. All the blame that you put on yourself because you're not where you thought you would be. All of the comments, the criticisms, the feeling of less, less, less than that you've put on yourself, that you've accepted from others, colleagues, family members, whoever. All of that out through your feet, just out through your feet. All the limiting beliefs that you carry around money, work hard, play hard. Money doesn't grow in trees. Um, money is the root of all evil. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of all the shame that we may feel because we're not where we want it to be yet, up until now. And all of the doubts that we have, but why we can't do this, why we can't do that, why we can't even enjoy ourselves right now. Okay. They want me to go through a book. So hold on a second because I have a massive Bible. Oh, all feelings of disempowerment. They want me to release with you guys all feelings of disempowerment. When did you not feel empowered? That is blocking your abundance. When did you feel stuck? When did you feel overwhelmed? When did you feel anxious? Let that all go. Self-loathing is the word that comes up to me right now. So all those times you felt really sorry for yourself because this happened or that happened or you were dealt shitty cards. Those are your experiences that got you here that are directing you on your path and it's free will choice how you view them. So you may have viewed them one way in the past. They may have been crappy, but it's your opportunity to view it as something different now. Being receptive that asking for help is wrong, that accepting help makes you look like a failure or unworthy of whatever may be coming to you, your money. You're a bad mother if you accept help or you ask for help. That is blocked in your abundance.
They'd like to release anything that is stopping your vibration, that is hindering your vibration. Because the solutions to all your problems are on a next vibrational level. It's not in the same vibration as your problem. So if you're stuck in your problem, you can't see the solution. So they would like to release, which is a block to your abundance, right? So they would like to release all of the vibrational misalignments you may have or blocks that are holding you in a vibrational pattern that doesn't allow you to see an opportunity, to see a solution. Oh, sorry, now I'm burping because it's really becoming big. We would like to release around your belief. So, your belief in yourself, your belief in the energy that you put out, your belief in your energetic field, your belief in your ability to change, your belief in your ability to manifest. Those are blocks to your abundance. Ah, anyone you put on a pedestal, they would like to release all the pedestals, including money. If you have money on a pedestal, that's going to be released now. A lot of the time we think money's out of our reach. We think a celebrity's out of our reach. We think that kind of dream job is out of our, release, our reach. That vacation is out of our reach. That is on a pedestal and that will never come to you if it's on a pedestal. So they would like to release the blocks that are keeping you in that notion that it's on a pedestal. And if you even want, just kind of quickly close your eyes and see those sort of dominoes all the pedestals just come crashing down. You are on equal playing field. And I'm telling you right now, you guys can do exactly what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I just put effort into it. And I know how spirit speaks to me now. So you could do the same thing. No pedestals. Awesome. They want to release around, more around obligation, but more so around giving yourself permission, permission to succeed. And all the reasons why you tell yourself that it's not gonna work. Hold on. Okay, last but not least, they want to release around the feeling of your dreams are out of reach. So if you've ever felt like it's just too far off in the future or you've got a plan for it to happen in 10 years time, actually they're kind of just sitting there and they're like, this 10 year plan is bullshit because it is. If you wanna make it happen, you can make it happen a lot faster than 10 years. So you guys can see how this is clearing. And eventually it'll stop. So it is clearing all of the things that we've said. It's I have programmed it to clear any money blocks that we have already, any blocks that's stopping us from bringing in our abundance, any blocks to our health and success, any blocks that are, are hindering us in this reality or anyone else. Yes. Tina says her pendulum's going crazy too. I'm so excited there's someone else using a pendulum. Yes, girl. Now you know how to clear. That's it. 
You just pick up that pendulum and you're like, you clear this erect. <laughs> Done. All time, space, realities, all dimensions, all family lineage. Just make sure you get your intention in there. That is what this is about. When it decides it wants to stop, it'll stop. Mine's coming closer. Done. Did you just stop, Tina? Ah! <laughs> All right. S super cool when two people have a pendulum going at the same time and it pretty much stops at the same time. <laughs> you know it's working. Oh, this too. Yay! Sweetness. Okay, so um, we're going to check in with our money container now. Take that deep breath again and ask your subconscious, what is your money container now? Got it. Did it go up? Yeah. All right. So keep that number in your mind because we're going to activate and then we're going to try it again and see if the number went up. So if anyone is using a pendulum right now, if you want it to activate, it needs to go clockwise. So you get like a mini pendulum class here and anyone else that eventually gets the pendulum. Whenever you want to clear something from you and from your space, it's going to go counterclockwise. And whenever you want to add something, mine is starting to go really freaky. It's going to go clockwise. Hmm. Is it going, Tina? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about the things we want to add in. We want to add in. Now I want a pendulum. I'm telling you, Sarah. Uh, I'm going to do a pendulum class because it's so, I use this thing do for it. everything. I mean, Sarah took my muscle testing class. And that was pretty damn good, but this, like, just whole other level. <laughs> whole other level here. Mine's so, going crazy right now. We are activating. <laughs> you don't really need to say anything when you activate, okay? You can just say, I wanted to activate. For me, I've programmed any time that I activate, it activates um, ease for me, it activates confidence, it activates inspiration. Those are all things that you need for abundance. Since we are here and we're talking about abundance and we've released all those blocks, yeah, it's zooming, isn't it? I need to put my, sorry, my arm down a little bit. Um, we want to activate confidence. We want to activate the ability to feel inspired by our change and our growth. We want to activate our success. We want to activate the floodgates of money just opening, opening. We want to activate courage right? Um, compassion, love. Of course, we want to activate more money. Hello. We want to activate inspiration so that the money flows in ways that are magnetic, easy, fulfilling, joyful. Hold on. I don't want me to read some more. Oh, that we are open and, and we can receive with ease and we can receive guidance with ease. One of the major blocks is not being able to receive, that we can let go with ease. If you can't declutter, guys, spring clean, quarter clean, whatever it is, declutter your energy field, your stuff, your brands, make room. We're activating that that container grows bigger, that it's filled with vibrationally aligned people, experiences, opportunities, that the money comes in in perfect form is what they say. Anyone else? What do you want to activate? What do you want in your life right now? Put it in the chat box. Do you want awesome relationships? Do you want great sex? 
who knows put it in there that's abundance like do you want to be living on a beach do you want to yeah right do you want work that's fulfilling that allows you to feel balanced that's joyful that is uh that gives you the ability to express yourself authentically yes activating all of that Activating your intuition, activating your higher self, activating all of your clear so that you can get that divine guidance, you can get that guided right action, you can get that deep knowing of exactly where you should be, what you should be doing. They said activate abundance, pure abundance, and whatever that means for you, freedom. Freedom to make your choices. Good health. Exactly. Good health for your entire family lineage and everyone within your, house, your family. They want me to say mental health. See if they have anything else. Activate your willingness to do things differently and to make changes. Activating your they call it your opportunity radar. Activate your gifts. Because when you start sharing your gifts with the world, in whatever capacity you're supposed to be sharing them with, you experience abundance. Activate your ability to give freely. Activate trust. <laughs> trust in knowing that what's yours is yours. It's coming, it's on the way, it's already here. Activate your imagination so you can visualize your success right now. I can't see Tina's pendulums, but let's see if they end at the same time again. <laughs> uh, Afro DT is activating alignment for all abundance in all forms. That is a good one. Working in alignment. We are activating working in alignment. Think we're activating an increased money container, an increased container for abundance, for joy, for love, for compassion. Awesome, Patricia. We're activating more clientele. We're activating ideal clients to find us, to be magnetized to us, to want to work with us. Acting influencers who work with us, who meet us, who talk about other, us to others. Be it if you're an entrepreneur or you work in business someplace, wherever it is. Community. Tribe. We're activating tribe. And let's just do it some more. We're going to activate money and more money and more money. Money that provides us the opportunity to provide others with opportunity. Money that provides us the opportunity to provide others with experiences. Money that provides us with the opportunity to leave an even greater impact than we're already leaving. That one gave me serious goosebumps. Okay. Mine is like, oh my God, Tina. <laughs> She's like. <laughs> what stone is your pendulum, Tina? Do you know? 
I think it's rose quartz. I think it's you. rose quartz. Can you hear me? No? I'll type it. I'm using rose quartz right now. <laughs> I have lots of pendulums, but yeah, twinning. Um, <laughs> I have, if you want to purchase a pendulum through me, I have rose quartz and amethyst actually. Um, amethyst is for protection and rose quartz is what most people are called to. If you want to go buy a pendulum, do it. Let the pendulum pick you because that's how it works. And um, you'll know. And if you're in the Toronto area and you want to go pendulum shopping with me, we can go do that. It is so fun picking one. It literally picks you. Um, I just taught someone a private pendulum class and they were like, I walked in the store and this one was like, when I walked by and I bought it. And I said, yes, yes, Sarah, I will take you. Take it in town for sure. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, rose quartz. Yes. Awesome, Patricia. Okay. So, one more time. Deep breath. How big is your money container now? Bigger? Yes. Patricia, bigger? Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Now ask yourself, is there anything blocking me from accessing this money container now? Patricia, what's blocking you? Liz, what's blocking you? Resistance to what, Patricia? Fear of what, Liz? Resistance to receiving, Patricia. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. You just nod. Okay. So, going to re release all resistance to receiving from Patricia and everyone else within this container. Yes, it does, Tina. It does. Fear of receiving. Because receiving means that we are not humble. That we'll be changed. Yes. Receiving also means that we're not worthy of receiving and not deserving of receiving. So we're going to release that unworthy. Okay. So my pendulum stopped there, but hold on, I need to make this bigger. We've got again going into deeper fear of freedom, fear of success, fear that it'll be taken away. And fear that if you're successful, you won't be liked. Fear that if you're successful, you'll have to change. Fear that if you're successful, you have to leave everything behind. Fear that if you're successful, you have to work really, really hard and you don't have any time for yourself. It's 
scarcity fears again, because if you feel that it could be taken away, that scarcity, the only way it'll be taken away is if your thoughts, you project your thoughts out there that it can be taken away. And let's just say there's been plenty of millionaires that have lost everything just to build millions again. And the greatest examples are, think of the old wealth. Most people are never concerned that their wealth is going to run out. The queen is never concerned her wealth is going to run out. Never an issue for her. And it never will be because it's not in her thought patterns. So let's remove that fear of being successful, that fear of what freedom looks like, that fear that it's the responsibility of freedom because then you are 100% responsible for your choices, for your actions, for where you spend your money, for what you do with your time. That's a lot of accountability to yourself. <laughs> Let's go back and release more around how. How will it come? How will it be? How do I do this? How? How do I get out of my current circumstance? How do I get money? How do I get more money? How do I pay this bill? How do I buy Christmas presents when I can barely buy blah, blah, blah. How do I start a business when I have no money? How do I, how? Some of the best business owners that I know started a business when they had like on credit, nothing to their name and they had no excuses. They had to, and they just threw caution to the wind. Okay, let's go back and activate now. We're gonna go back and we're gonna activate on some of these things that we have here. So we're gonna activate on trust and deep knowing that it's coming on trusting that the outcomes are beneficial on trusting that it's all taken care of and that you don't need to know how and trusting that you can start today. Whatever it is you want to do, you can start today. Activating your success. Activating the courage to be successful. Activating the inspiration and ideas that you need to be successful. Activating your voice, activating your visibility, activating your clients, activating your dreams. Activating your receiving container. Activating support, activating your belief, activating your ability to receive. Okay, so. Now, you still may have blocks. So let's ask, do you still have blocks? Yes or no? No. No. No, Afro says no. Yusha says no. It's okay if you do.
Tina says she feels better. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. It doesn't always go away in a day. We've made amazing progress because first of all, you have increased your money container one fold, two folds already, right? We have removed loads of blocks. And the thing is, is that there are in all stages of the game times when we cannot remove anything else because it's just your energetic body is not going to handle it. There needs to be an integration period, one. And two, as you are evolving and your vibration is increasing and your energy is shifting, you are going to experience either repeats and blocks or the same blocks because you have just peeled back a whole level of the onion that is new and different and boom. Oh, your pop is there. So if you still got blocks and you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me and you want to dive deeper into this, um, I will gladly help you out. Send me, respond to my email. And I will, if it's not already on my, um, might be down from my scheduling site, but I had a Black Friday deal. Yeah, if you do feel like, I, I was burping. <laughs> so if you feel like burping or um, farting or anything else, that is energy releasing, that is consistent <laughs> typically releasing from you. So like, yeah, it's one of those things that when I used to do Reiki with clients, like at my actually home, I'd be like, sorry, but that's you, not me, um, because you are releasing for the other person. So in this group, if you are releasing, that is totally fine, especially since people, some of us had pendulums and you could be releasing for yourself. So if you're burping or farting or anything else, um, sweating, it's, that is, that's part of the release. I'm going to say to you guys, drink a lot of water, please. But if you do want to work on this on a deeper capacity specifically for you um, and really dive into any other blocks that you may be having right now, set yourself up for like a super amazing 2020, then respond to my email and I will send you the link to book under the Black Friday rate, which I think was $88 for an hour. And we will clear specifically all those open contracts all the things that you may have against you when it comes to your abundance and anything that is blocking or hindering you from opening those floodgates right now. Um, and just to leave you guys off, next week we're doing uh, magnetism. So it's really going to be on how you activate your intentions, how to set really good intentions. Super important moving into 2020. But this Thursday... Is it Thursday? Yes, Thursday is a new moon. It's 12, 12 new moon, and it's coming in at 12, 12. Full moon, full moon, sorry, full moon. My bad. Um, so write out your intentions. Write out what you want. And if you don't know what you want, just journal wildly until it comes out, because it will. And um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for joining me. If you found this beneficial, please tell a friend or two. Um, have them come on next week. We probably will do a little bit more clearing before we start activating next week. Um, yeah, and I'm so excited for those of you who had their pendulums with you. That was awesome. And thank you guys so much for being here today. Ah, you're welcome, guys. Ah, big <laughs> hearts. <laughs> oh, you know what? Where's my phone? I should have a picture of you guys. You know, so we could do the gram thing. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> there. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ladies. I hope you had an amazing time. Bye.